Hello everybody. Happy Friday night. Welcome to my Zen Den. Got my sweater back here. Apparently, I don't need another sweater back here. I don't like it sitting there, so I'm taking it down. Happy Friday night. Welcome to my Zen Den. My name is Amanda Van Havermitt, and I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! from Great Eagle, Minnesota. Um, if you don't know where Great Eagle is, it is a teeny, teeny, tiny little town, little town, 330 people, um, right smack dab in the middle of Minnesota. So that's where I'm at. Um, I'm not in the metro. I am a rural, rural girl. So anyhow, that's just a little extra about me that you didn't you need to really probably know, but now you do. Um, anyhow, tonight I am uh, working with a bundle. Um, it's kind of a Valentine's theme bundle called Country Bouquet, and I love this bundle. Um, I think it's really cool. What I really like about it is it has a punch, and you know I am a punch girl. I call myself a lazy stamper quite often um, because I like less is more in my opinion and so punches are less they're they're just less to, in my head so I really enjoy punches so I really was drawn to this bundle specifically because it has a punch uh, so I am going to flip the camera around and we're gonna get stampin and I'm gonna show you the country uh, bouquet bundle one second maybe you know seriously there we go technology is super fun isn't it Oh yeah, yeah. All right. So there is the stamp set, and the stamp set looks kind of a little different, uh, doesn't it? Because there we go. Um, of these two stamps, and you're like, what are those two stamps? I'm actually going to use those two stamps tonight because it makes a really, really cool um, group of. It, it's a two-step stamp. It is really, really pretty. Uh, so this is the Country Bouquet Suite. It is a photopolymer stamp set because it's two-step, which means you're going to combine the two stamps together with different colors to make one image. Uh, so it's got some really nice, it's kind of a Valentine's love theme. Um, I love that we are friends for you. I love you with love. Happy Valentine's Day and just wanted to say. So some really neat um, sentiments. This is the punch. You can kind of get a better image or look at the punch. Um, it's kind of one of those that are a little weird. So this, these two stamps are one stamp. Actually, let me pull it out and I can show you and it's stained so you can see. Um, it's one stamp um, right there. So that will punch out in one group. And then the leaves will punch out in another. Okay, so I'll show you how to use those in just a little bit. Um, there, so that's the stamp set, or the, the punch, along with a stamp set. It's got some DSP that coordinates. Um, I really like the DSP. I like the colors. They're colors that I normally wouldn't maybe put together, or definitely wouldn't put together for Valentine's Day. So we've got Balmy Blue, Mint Macaron, Mossy Meadow, Petal Pink, and Sweet Sorbet. So, blue hearts. I would have never in a million years, like I said, thought that it was pretty, but I do find it very pretty. And at the back, of course, is just the Sweet Sorbet with the little tiny hearts. I don't know if you can see that very well. Super cute, right? And then this page actually coordinates with the punch. So, you can punch out, the bottom is cut off here a little bit, but you can punch out the whole entire image with the um with the punch which is kind of fun i always like when they do that and then the back side is some pink and sweet sorbet uh stripes some nice uh, right country floral it's the name of the <laughs> this um the paper and hello yeah it really is and this is super cute it's little blue hearts or little white hearts on the blue paper so cute this page here i thought i didn't like it when i very first saw it but I'm using it tonight, and I really, really like how I, um, the, the, this card that I'm making with this page right here. So, very fun. Some more blue patterns, and then some more floral patterns. And then those are little, um, that's petal pink, and there's little hearts in white there. And then this page also. This, will this punch out? No, it does not. It's too small. 
Um, but you probably could do the little hearts if you wanted to do it like that. See, you could have a little heart. That is that. So, and then another um, soft background with the petal pink. So that's the designer series paper. If you're following along in the catalog, the suite is on page 10, or the bundle. It is part lar uh, part of a larger suite also, if you go previous, where it has two packs of paper. Um, and then it's got some sequins that are in, um, there also. They're super pretty. Um, and they're, I like sequins, adhesive back sequins, because they're very flat, which makes them very mailable. And you know I'm all about that. And then some really pretty ribbon, uh, which I don't have out here. It's a twin pack of uh, kind of a crumb cake and a real red. So those are, that's part of the suite. So let's get stamping. Here's my cutting dimensions for my first card. And I'm going to tell you, I would case this from Deborah Harrison. I thought it was such a pretty card when I saw it and I thought this is a great use of that piece of paper right there, right? So what we're going to start out with, I'll go run down the list of supplies. We need a piece of eight and a half by 11, or I'm sorry, eight and a half by five and a half scored down the middle at four and a quarter. We need a piece of that blue designer series paper. Uh, and this is cut at four by five and a quarter. We need a piece of sweet sorbet, and that is four and a half by three. A piece of basic white, and that's four and a quarter by two and three quarters. And then a strip of petal pink that's an inch wide and four and a half inches long. A couple of scraps of basic white, and then our piece of designer series paper that I'm going to show you how to cut. So what I'm going to do is actually cut these strip these images these strips of images apart I'm going to cut right along in between here so I'm getting just this piece right here so let's pull out our trimmer and I can't tell you a dimension um, because it I guess it's kind of seven eighths but I would go more by eyeballs than by um, by a measurement and I'm just going to line that up in the track so I get this piece cut right there. And then I'm going to cut that at four and the same as my petal pink, four and a half. Good thing I looked because I almost had it at four and a quarter. So um, that's the piece that I wanted to do. And I could have cut this whole piece at four and a quarter, but now I've got longer strips of the, um, this was actually one of my paper shares. This is a six inch wide piece of paper. I cut off um, just what I wanted. So we'll use that. And I've seen some other cards too where they just have the bike. Um, so they'll cut a strip. I'll show you here. I'll line it back up again, right in that track, just like that. And so now you have a strip of just the bicycles. Isn't that fun? I think that that's really cute. And even if you were to cut just one bicycle, right? It's kind of a cute little picture. So some thoughts on how to use that designer series paper. All right, and because this is a photopolymer stamp set, it's best to use a stamp and pierce mat or some kind of mat to give you some uh, give when you press that photopolymer stamps down, especially the images. The words maybe not so much, but the images, yes, most definitely you're gonna want some kind of stamp and pierce mat. The ink colors that I'm using are Old Olive, Sweet Sorbet, and balmy blue. Um, I tried it with Mossy Meadow, which is the color of the green that's inside the suite, and I liked the old olive better. It was a little bit more green, a little less dark, just for when I'm stamping. I like the Mossy Meadow look with the paper. I just like the old olive ink better. So that's my own personal preference. So I'm going to take one of my scraps and my sweet sorbet ink. And I'm going to be mindful um, when you stamp that this is how the piece of paper is going to go into the punch. So that's how I'm going to stamp it. Don't stamp it upside down. If you do, you're just going to have to figure out a way to punch it different. So don't punch it up here is what I'm saying. Punch it down here. Or stamp it. Punch it. Stamp it. You know. You know. Whew. Okay. Isn't that pretty? I think that is just a very pretty heart. Okay, and so then while I've got my ink out, I'm going to take my old olive. 
and on a different piece I am just stamping my my leaves okay I'm gonna close those up because you know and I know nothing good happens when you've got your ink pads open and you're not using them right okay so let's do some punching So I'm just going to line that up inside there. And this is why I use strips also. I like strips for my scraps. Line it up and just punch them out. So now you've got your two little um, two little leaves and your scrap. And then your hearts. You're going to do the same thing. So I would assume if you're not going, really and truly, it's going to be hard to do one punch. Sorry, I'm lining up. There we go. We're ready Urgh. Um, to stamp so you can do it all in one punch. You're going to punch out those hearts separately from those those leaves. That's just kind of the way. Um, so the nature of the beast, right? So I've got those all ready to go. Let's build our card. I'm going to leave those sitting on my mat there so they're there when I'm ready to go. And I have a secret to tell you. We are making this card in Swanville at Cards in Theory on Sunday. I've got some spots open yet if you're wanting to join us. Um, I've got two time slots. I've got 11 o'clock and we've got 1 o'clock. So if you have nothing to do on Sunday and you want to join us in Swanville at Theory Clothing Co., we will be making this card. So come on down. Let me know if you're interested. All right, so I'm going to place that right on there. Super easy, right? And then we are going to, most. this is just putting it straight down. And you could make this card a lot more if you wanted to. You could definitely use uh, the rectangles or the, deck, the stitched rectangles or the deckled rectangles and um, use the stamp and the cut and emboss machine to adhere these down. I just, I want it to keep it simple this time. So I'm going to bring out my balmy blue ink pad and I've got the sentiment, I love that we are friends. And I'm going to place this right here. I'm not taping anything down because I want to be able to flip this over if I have to. Because guess what, there's two sides on this paper. So if I mess it up, I've got my other side. So I'm just kind of dry, like putting that on there but not adhering it. And I've got, I love that we are friends. There we go. Just like that. Beautiful. Um, while I'm at it, I'm going to stamp on the inside. Uh, happy Valentine's Day. And I'm going to do it the right direction. Because that's helpful. Just like that. So cute. Okay, so let's close that blue ink pad up now. And remember, you don't, I, it, there's nothing wrong with the other side of the piece of paper, right? Um, if you do make a boo-boo, that's okay. We all do it all the time. That's part of, that's part of what we do. So, so never take my cards apart is what I'm telling you, because you're going to see stuff on the back sides. You're going to be, oh my gosh, she messed up. Yep, I most certainly did. Okay, so let's adhere this together. I'm just going to put a strip of my seal right there. And this is, see, and this is why I didn't, it's very thin, it's a very thin extra on the back side. Look at that, I got to trim that. Looky there. Let's see. I must have had a one and a quarter piece of petal pink, even though I wrote one and a half on my um, on my directions here. Mine is only going to reach across the white. If you were to do four and a half or yeah, four and a half long, you'd reach all the way across. Either way is fine. So let's adhere all these things down. 
And notice nothing's being bumped up even on here. I'm going pretty flat because I want to mail this card and I'm going to bump my hearts up. So if you get too much dimension, it makes it hard to mail. So we're going to keep it pretty simple. Isn't that cute? That is so cute. Okay, so now I'm going to take my hearts here. And I'm going to grab my small dimensionals. And if you don't have small dimensionals, we, they come in two sizes, okay? If you don't have the small dimensionals, here's the bigger ones, right? This is a brand new pack. And then we've got the smaller ones. If you don't have these smaller ones, go ahead and just cut the bigger ones in half. It's all good. But I'm going to use the smaller ones just so I can bump this all up. And so I'm going to put him, put my heart right there. So cute. You know what would be even cuter? I think if I wink of, put Wink of Stella on this, it'd be just a little, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Inspiration just got me. Oh, Stella, where are you? Here you are. You know, I love the Wink of Stella and this shouldn't run because it's been sitting for a little bit. If you were to do it when it was wet, it would kind of push that push that around a little bit, that ink, but this has been sitting for a little bit, so. Oh, that adds just a little bit of sparkle, and you know everything's better with sparkle, right? Cute. Okay, now that I get that out of the way, let's grab another dimensional, put it on the back of that one, and another one to put on the back of this one. So it looks like a little flower. Oh, so cute. My dimensional. That must have been, I must have lost my sticky on that one. It probably, did you see me just wipe that on the floor? Um, it probably was in my drawer for a while without a back on it. Shocking. There we go. Cute. Okay. Let's. Where did my little, there they are. Let's put some of these on, because that's not quite enough sparkle. I'm gonna use the blue ones, and they do come in two different sizes, a um, little bit bigger, a little smaller. Sheesh, let's get rid of that guy. I'm more of a pokey kind of person. Let's see, I'm gonna put one right down here. And one big one right up here. Mm. We're gonna go for another big one, just cause probably right on the heart. Cute. All right, so let's put our inside in. And while I've, since I've got this little heart here, we're gonna put him down on the bottom. Because I can. You can use glue. I've got a glue dot just because I want it to be able to close all the way. Fun, fun. Can't believe you guys haven't heard a snowmobile go by yet. My boys have been snowmobiling like crazy. This year has been fantastic for them. Great year for snowmobiling for those boys. All right, so there's card number one. If you want to take a screenshot of that, go right ahead and we will move on to card number two. Few less pieces in card number two, but this is that one that I'm going to show you how to use that funny stamp. So this is what I've got for pieces. I have got a piece of petal pink you would think, uh, eight and a half by five and a half, score down the middle at four and a quarter. I've got a piece of sweet sorbet that is two and a quarter wide by five and a half, a piece of DSP that is two by five and a half, a piece of sweet sorbet that's three and an eighth by three and an eighth, and a th uh, three inch square of basic white. Then I've also got a panel for on the inside of the card as well. So, again, we're going to pull in our stamp and pierce mat. And this is the piece we're going to concentrate on. 
I am going to be using sweet sorbet, old olive, and maybe a little bit of petal pink. So, oof, roll up my sleeves here and let's get stamping. All right. So like I said, these are two-step stamps, okay? So you've got one that is kind of the flower image, and you've got one that is the leaf image. You see where I'm going here, right? So we're going to open up that old olive, and we're going to open up the sweet sorbet. I'm going to start with the old olive. And I've got the piece that is mostly le or that is leaves and I am going to sorry if you see my head because I've got to line them up and put it in there like square right right in the center okay so that's the first image and now I'm going to take my sweet sorbet and sweet sorbet is just a cool color I should pull out some real red to show you how it compares it's kind of a it's kind of a pinky red it's really neat it's really I I like it. It's growing on me. Okay, so now I need to stop talking and start looking at where I'm lining these up. Um, you can, it makes a heart, and I haven't seen one that's messed up yet, and I cannot believe that I'm that good of a stamper, so I'm thinking it's kind of a foolproof the way that it lines up. Um, if you're off a little bit, I, I like I said, I can't believe that I've stamped this perfectly every time. And here I can see I haven't stamped it perfectly, but it looks perfect. It looks just kind of like it's waved. I have not had it, like I said, I've stamped a few different cards and I'll show them to you. Um, I haven't seen one that's bad yet. So, and I'm not convinced that I don't stamp crooked. So, there we are. I am going to, while I've got my sweet sorbet open, going to stamp with love right down here. Super cute. And I'm going to close these up while I assemble my card. Let me pull out a piece of real red. Just because the sweet sorbet really is, it's a, just a different kind of red color. So this is real red and this is sweet sorbet. It's just a little lighter red. It really is sweet. <laughs> it's just a cute, it's a cross between a pink and a red, and I really like it. It's one of the in colors from this year. So, okay, now let's assemble our card. And this is a classic layout right here, right? I'm going to fold and burnish my piece of petal pink. And got my seal stamp and seal. I'm going to adhere this along the top edge. We're going to line them right up and just leave an eighth inch on each side so it's centered. I'm going to put that right down on there. Perfect, huh? This is a classic layout right here. If you are ever stuck, if you're ever wondering, hmm, what should I do? This layout is a good one. All right, so I'm going to put that down. And this is a little tighter of a margin um, of the box. If you wanted to make your sweet sorbet um, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. You very easily could. I just wanted it a little smaller. So like that. And I'm going to pull out some dimensionals. Where did I put the those big ones? They're here somewhere. Da, 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 da. Here they are. Okay. So let's take our dimensionals. Put those on the back. And again, if you have long fingernails or you have um, arthritis, use your take your pick tool for these, right? You don't have to fight with the backs um, there. They pop right off with your take your pick tool. So just a word. You know what? I'm going to put a few little hearts on here. 
Let's open up our sweet, let's open up, no, let's not do sweet sorbet. Let's do petal pink. Okay. I haven't used it yet. I know what I'm doing. Whew. Just put a couple on there. Just to peek out of the, we can always put more. Yeah, we're going to have to put more. And I'm just putting that off like that. And I don't have, my hearts aren't sticking out, so let's add a couple, huh? There, because that's fun, and we have the stamp. All right, so let's do our inside also. I'm going to stamp that with Happy Valentine's Day, which is located right here. I'll wash it off, because I think it's got some balmy blue on it right now. Okay. This one I am going to stamp. Let's stamp it in Sweet Sorbet also. I just like the brightness of it. And then, since we've got my little heart stamp out right here, let's put some hearts in there. Two there, two there. And notice I'm not using the stamp, stamp and pierce mat. When it's just small, little um, fine lines and things like that, I find that I can get by without it. It's when I'm using like a bigger image. That's when these leaves would not have turned out like that had I not used the stamp and pierce mat. I've just found that to be true and I'm, I treat it as the gospel. There you go. All right, so let's adhere that on the inside here. So there you have it. A couple of sweet little Valentines. And there is the dimensions for that, if you would like to take a screenshot of that. So, let's bring in our other card from tonight. This one right here, those are my two cards. Um, super quick, using the Country Bouquet. A um, couple of reminders, like I said, I do have uh, a couple spots left for this Sunday at 11 and at 1 in Swanville. So if you'd like to join for that, uh, message myself or uh, I do believe there's an event, cre I know there's an event created um, on Mandy's Stampin' Mania. Also, paper shares, I've got all the papers in. So if you are interested in the paper share, there's details on my Facebook page. Uh, it's $50 and you get lots of designer series paper and it's just, it's a quarter pack of all of the, the all of the designer series papers that are in the January to April mini catalog. So it is a it's a lot of papers. It's significant. Um, there is that. Uh, anything else? I can't think of anything else. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you get some crafting done, and I will see you back here next Friday night. Thanks for joining. Bye bye.